Kerala has been on our travel bucket list for years and now we finally made it to this magical state in India. We started our road trip in Munnar, the most famous tourist destination in Kerala. But luckily, the area is still full of hidden gems and we found one. In the middle of the tea plantation on a slope of a mountain, you'll find the TP tribe. Yes, you heard that right, a TP. We spent the night in a TP surrounded by beautiful nature all by ourselves. And in the morning, we hiked to the famous Kolukumalai viewpoint. However, luck was not always on Mira's side. Yeah. Let the adventure begin. <laughs> And our cutlery is here. Let me tell you, the jeep ride was an adventure. The roads looked pretty good in the beginning, but that all changed in this turn. It was crazy. I know, it looks a bit bumpy here, but I assure you, in reality, it was 10 times more bumpy. We were holding on to the jeep for our lives. When I woke up this morning, I didn't think I was gonna go on this crazy adventure. <laughs> it was, I think, one of the worst road we have ever been through. How was your experience? Here? Oh my god, I was so much <laughs> recovering. And with the smell, and they have this jerry can with petrol, and this petrol smell. And, <laughs> and oh, it was, uh, at one point, my arms got so. Because uh, we had to hold it so tight. Yeah. <laughs> this is our Jeep. Last night we were staying at the base of this mountain and then we saw the mountain with clouds. Now we are in the clouds and it's cold. And the most important part of this adventure, our teepee tent is just there. It's hidden in the clouds. Everything just looks super mysterious, super pretty. <laughs> Me and Adi, we are kind of introvert. And when we were booking this, we really felt, okay, we we're really going to meet with the other people, eat with the other people and, you know, socialize. Turns out we're the only guests. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to escape the tourists, come to the Tipi tribe. We are going to the Tipi tent. It is raining like proper rain. So I think it's gonna be really cozy inside the tent. And look how big it is. So pretty the tent. Yeah. <laughs> wow, it's so huge from the inside the tent. And it's also a little bit outdoors, the tent. <laughs> and he just said that in the night it gets around six to eight degrees. <gasps> That's like really cold. I've never slept in that cold weather, I think. And I don't have the clothes for it at all. It's going to be fun. We're waiting for our tea and snack and the smells that are coming from the kitchen are just amazing. So now we're going to take a look and see what they're preparing. <laughs> or maybe they don't want us to look for that. <laughs> We didn't go to the kitchen because the food was already coming to us and we have pakoda. We have some tea. Whoa, look at this tea thing. Crazy cool. And the best of all, wooden cups with a teepee. How amazing. Maybe we can take one in our bag, Adi. First time eating pakoda. What is it? Pakoda. The, just flour. You have to try it. You would be shocked. Oh, this is nice. Ginger. The veggie is really not that strong taste. You see, it's without milk. I already felt so. First time I'm feeling a bit more lonely in the place. Oh. Yeah, maybe we will socialize later with the kitchen crew. Yeah, they look pretty cool. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I really like Pagoda. Oh, this is amazing, the tea. Mm. A lot of times, for Indian people, we always think that if it's raining, you cook some pakora, cook some tea, and then you sit in your balcony and then it's cozy and then watch the rain. Really? Yeah. Oh, yes, so you do have coziness. Hmm. Yeah, but what do you say pakora? Pakora. I thought you said pakoda. Pakora. Some people say pakora. Oh. It's different. But this tea is also, it has a lot of sugar, but it's... Sugar um, is nice. Is it cinnamon? I don't know, but it tastes really good. Big kettle. If we are lucky enough that the clouds will disappear, we will be so amazed by, about what we're going to see because I think this is just fairly and fairly a mountains of yeah. tea plantation. Wow. But now it's just our imagination. It almost looks like a scene from a horror movie. 
Look at this. We can actually play a movie series, baby. A couple of yeah. went lost in Kerala's Adi. forest. We play hide and seek. You go running like for hours, and then <laughs> oh, yeah. I go fight you. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> so so fun. You're, yeah. You're so funny. <laughs> We got <laughs> barbecue pineapple. Oh, oh that smells so good. How do we eat it? It's just with that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Wow. It's worth the wait. Yeah? Yeah, it's amazing, but it tastes like cinnamon as well. Since we have come here, it has been a food feast. Everything what we are getting is just one-on-one -on -one experience because we are the only ones and they are just focused on feeding us. And they're <laughs> super friendly. They have really cool, interesting stories about tea, which we're going to tell tomorrow when we have a beautiful tea garden behind us. Yeah, today we learned the, all the, the whole entire history yeah. of this tea business in India. I'm shocked. I'm also <laughs> shocked. See, there's some mountains, there's some stars. The sky is clear, crystal clear. It's the starting of a track, let's go. We have a VIP path here. Torch. Be careful for the frogs. Yeah, oh, I have to tell you later a little frog story. I'm so sad, I'm still, my heartbeat goes crazy. There's also a lot of leeches. But apparently, I just also learned yesterday, leeches are really good for your body. Because if they suck the blood, they just suck the impure blood. If you get sucked by a leech, then you don't get a heart attack for the next three months. And although it looks like we are having the best time of our lives, in reality, Mira was fighting a food poisoning. Luckily, we reached the viewpoint just in time. We made it to the top, guys, and Mira is not really feeling very good, so she's staying back there. But yeah, look at these views. It's one of the coolest sunrises we have ever seen. And of course there is there are some people but it's not that packed so that's really good because we saw a lot of jeeps coming this morning. Mira is just waiting down there I think 10 meters below. Travel is not always about roses. I feel really sick. I think it's because I barely drink water because I don't want to go to the toilet. And now or maybe I just ate something wrong. I don't know. But I do see the beautiful view from here. And maybe even better from up there because there are a thousand people and here I'm alone. Moment of truth. See how many leeches we have got. Leeches everywhere. Oh, so many. You see them? One, two, three, four. Oh, so we are also drying our shoes because there is a lot of leeches around our shoes. Yeah. Is it still there? Yeah, it should be. There was a leech inside me, Roger. So many fruits. But how are you feeling now? I'm feeling now, if I'm sitting, I'm okay. If I stand, it's not okay. Oh, we don't know why it is, right? No. I don't know. Maybe because of I didn't drink water enough. And on top of that, also something really else stressful happened. I will tell you later about it. We can show them. We can show them probably. <sighs> This was our home for our last night. And now I will give you a tour. This is our tent. 
And yesterday, there was a big frog there. And okay, I, I told you before, I have to tell you something. Like I have a phobia for frog. That's not that you have a fear of frog, no, you have a phobia. It's like freaking out. The worst thing in my life can be to have frogs around me. And then yesterday evening, a frog decided to be on her tent. And this morning, there were all frogs on all the toilets. So maybe that, in combination with not drinking water, because I didn't want to go to the toilet, made me feel sick. I'm not opening it. <laughs> okay. Mira is too scared to open it because <laughs> the frog was literally here. Yeah. But then we took care of the frog. We pushed him outside. So the opening, the door opening is not very practical. <clears throat> go like this. You can tie it up. This is it. This is the tent. We got three beds so we can sleep with more people. The, the beds were really comfy. It was freezing cold, but it was comfy. And now the toilet. Now the toilet. Now the toilet where the magic did not happen. Here I'm still uh, recovering from the recovering. leech bite. <laughs> like everything what can go wrong, goes wrong. <laughs> but still, I loved it here. <laughs> so where are we going? To the toilet. Whew. So do I have to go? I can go. <laughs> Maybe. So the thing with the frogs here, like in the Netherlands, we have frogs, but they stay on the ground. Here they come everywhere. You see them? No. It's even worse with so much light. Oh, you left it open. Who left it open? The toilet. Oh. oh, but look at this beautiful toilet. You walk here and there's some showers. Well, here a basin. <laughs> it's crazy, I'm shaking. <laughs> and there's a toilet here. Yeah. So the frog was literally sitting underneath this. And when you, and there was also a frog hiding there. So if you flush it, no, now there's no one. So if you flush it, they all fall in the toilet. I am so happy I don't have this frog phobia. So we have actually two toilets on this yeah. platform, exact same. And they both had frog this morning. <laughs> Literally both of them had it. So about this frog thing, like I have an issue with frogs. Most people have not. Praise yourself lucky. So you will love to stay here. You know, you will just see it, laugh at it and it will jump away. It's all fine. I don't want to freak you out because it's really not that bad. It's just bad for me. <laughs> I think we are getting so spoiled with these views that we don't even realize how beautiful and rare this is. And we are just the only ones just walking around, just chilling here. And it's just existing here. Like there is like lines and lines of tourists, especially if you are in Munar or around Munar, there's lines and lines of tourists to go on some viewpoint to take photo of this. And we are just here by ourselves. It's unbelievable. Adi just said, I'm so surprised that this just exists here. These tea plantations, they don't just exist. They are all plants. All the tea plantations in India are planted by the British. And the British, they came here, they saw, wow, this is the perfect climate for our tea, for our afternoon tea. Let's cut all the forest and put tea plantation. And of course, back in the time, the British did that a lot with slaves. Luckily, that's not the case anymore. But I think it's around 2000 hectare of tea plantation here. Like now it's a good income for the local people here. But yeah, the story how it get here, it's uh, nah, not the best maybe. This was it. This was our stay at this beautiful place and really book this place. Come with your friends. It's amazing. You will remember this for the rest of your lives. We're going back to the business of the cities and we hope we see you in the next one. Bye.